Hello everybody, and welcome to a series on the basics of C Sharp. In this video, I'm going to cover variables. So to get started, let's go into my factory that emits carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide. So variables in C Sharp follow a pretty easy to understand structure. It starts off with the access modifier, the type, and the name followed by a semicolon to end the line. With those three layers in place, you have yourself a functional variable that stores data in memory to be written to or read from, within your class or other classes in your project, depending on its access modifier. Speaking of access modifiers, for the sake of simplicity, I will only go over these three keywords, public, private, and static. The public access modifier allows for your given variable to be accessed by other classes when given an instance of its housing class. The private access modifier only allows for the given variable to be accessed within its housing class, so external classes cannot access your given variable if given the private access modifier. Lastly, the static modifier would come after the private or public access modifiers when making a variable. This modifier declares whether or not the variable belongs to the type itself and not an instance of the type. Uh -huh. Now moving on, you can also declare variables inside of functions. But when you do this, you cannot read or write this variable from anywhere else besides within the function it is declared in unless you pass it in as a reference argument into another function. To make a variable inside of a function, you enter in the type, then the name of the variable followed by a semicolon to end the line. So declaring variables is cool and all, but how do you actually do things with it? Well, that is pretty simple, and it heavily involves the usage of the equal sign. Just like mathematical equations, we can set variables to be instances of their declared type. So for example, we have an integer variable called num, and using an equal sign, we set it to be the number 4. This is valid because the number 4 counts as an instance of the integer type. If we try to set this integer variable into an instance of a type that is not the variable type, well... Well, that is all for variables in C-sharp. Like and subscribe to stay notified as I will cover mathematical operators in C-sharp in the next installment of this series. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go and perform the manufacturing of industrial products that emit artificial gases that heavily contribute to the degradation of the layer of ozone that protects the earth from being deep fried by the sun.